Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of Equipped, the series where I share my preferred loadouts and playstyles for different operators. Hopefully you can find something that you can use to improve your game in Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are going to take a closer look at Echo, the defender from the Japanese SAT that was added in the Red Crow DLC. Echo is quite an interesting operator, uh, and uh, an addition to the defenders, as he is heavy and suitable for defending the objective, and sort of felt like the start of uh, bring the siege back into siege concept that got even more evident with the latest edition of Mira and Jacko. But before we dig further into that, let's take a look at his loadout. Echo is a low speed, high armor operator with a yokai drone with some interesting features that I will get back to. He can choose between two primary weapons, the MP5 SD with an attached silencer and the option to use an ACOG, and the supernova pump action shotgun. I started using the MP5 and I'm sure there are people who prefer this gun, but for some reason I ended up liking the shotgun more for the type of playstyle I wanted to use. The MP5 just feels too weak in my opinion, as soon as you get a bit of range between yourself and your target. Normally I stay away from most slow firing pump action shotguns, but this one has a real cool kick to it when firing and deals a lot of damage, so I think it's ideal when you're up close and personal in tight areas around or inside the objective. For the secondary, you have the choice of the P229, a great handgun which I've barely used though, and the Bering 9 submachine gun that is the best option for me when using the shotgun. This feels like an SMG-11 type of gun, although not quite as violent. I have used this for the muscle break and a reflex sight, but I've really had some problems with the reticle after the latest change, so now I've switched to holo, as the triangle on the reflex sight feels ridiculously large in my opinion. Echo can equip either a shield or barbed wire, and this is really up to the layout of the objective room. You can never go wrong with barbed wire though, as that is so effective for slowing down attackers. And I wouldn't want to be hiding behind a shield on my drone anyway, as that's just begging for a grenade, a capital arrow or, or something else. When I use shields, I often go prone way back from it to hold an angle while showing as little of my body as possible. And in those cases, a gun with an ACOG is definitely to prefer. As I mentioned earlier, I like to play inside or really close to the objective with Echo, and if there is a window or door to the outside which can easily be fused, I sometimes even open that, as attackers tend to want to stay away from those, and of course to prevent fuse to make an easy plant with his charges. There are several ways of playing Echo, of course, but what, whatever I do, I try to stay on my drone as much as possible, and because of this, you really have to be wary of angles, so you're not hiding somewhere where you can get easily droned and wall banged or something like that. If you're on TeamSpeak, it's also important to constantly communicate so you know if someone that is covering you decides to run off somewhere else. Talking about cover, Echo can really be a nice counter to Jackal as well. If you decide to have a roamer somewhere on the map, you can provide really important cover for that teammate and call out and disturb Jackal if he's on the hunt. When your teammate is spotted, he or she probably will like to have you around to cover their back as well, which can be very rewarding for your team. With the Yokai drone, you can drive around and jump to attach it to the ceiling. From this position, you can fire three ultrasonic charges that will recharge automatically again when they're out. When an enemy gets hit, their vision becomes blurry and dizzy and the effect gets worse when they're moving. After a couple of seconds, their vision will be back to normal low, but as the charge will interrupt animations, you can also use it to prevent fuse, thermite or whoever to plant charges and similar things. So Echo is really someone you want to keep alive until the last push when the attackers are in a hurry to get in, to breach, defuse or, or rush for that final kill. Although it can be quite fun to hit attackers with the drone and run for the kill, this is probably the most usual and unnecessary way that Echo gets killed. Although the attacker surely is a bit handicapped, they can still see and kill you. And if they're laying down, the effect from the sonic charge isn't that powerful, so be careful with that. I did my part of bad decisions early on with Echo and I still do when I get a bit too confident sometimes. It can also be wise to wait to hit the attacker until no one is looking in the direction of your drone as it will be visible for a short period when you fire the charge and then easily taken out. 
Just spamming in the general direction of several attackers is seldom a wise choice, in my opinion. So, to sum this up, be the man in the room, or at least really close to the objective. Keep to tight areas of the map, at least if you're using a shotgun, and remember to switch to the bearing as soon as you're in the open, as that's so much better at range. Make as much use of your drone as possible, regardless of that's providing cover for a roamer or guarding the perimeter around the objective. Just remember to keep switching in and out of drone view if you don't have a teammate to communicate with, as things can change quickly around you and your hiding spot in this game. And if you can, let attackers make their way to the wall they're going to breach or whatever they're up to. Shooting a charge right away at the first attacker you come across will only let them know your drone is there somewhere and will make them look for it. Use callouts if possible in those cases instead, as that is so much more worth when you can do it over and over again. So that's about it for today guys. What are your thoughts on Echo and how do you like to play him? Do you have any tips or tricks of your own you would like to share? Or did I miss anything you would like to add? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below and give me a thumbs up or down so I get to know what you thought about this video. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you'll get notified when I post. I'll be back soon again with some more Rainbow Six Siege content and until then, as always, I will keep being noiser. Hey